Hello everyone, Bentley K here. Welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today's video is a hot flash and wrinkles makeup video and we are going to be testing out a new product. It is the L'Oreal Paris Skin Paradise and it is a tinted moisturizer. It's a water infused tinted moisturizer. I got it in two colors because as you can see I've been tanning and so I don't know what color I am but it isn't this color. Not anymore. So this one looked a little bit like it might be too light for this. So I got this one too and it's way too dark I'm sure but I'll probably mix them. So anyways we're going to test that out. We're also going to try out the Physicians Formula in Deep that I have not tried yet. And I also got this Pout Balm. Uh, it's a lip plumper. Limp plumping gloss or something like that. Makeup Revolution London. Let's see. Plumping lip gloss with vitamin E. I got it in the color candy. So I'm just going to read you a little bit about what this foundation, this tinted moisturizer says. This is from the Ulta website, but my Ulta didn't have it, so I ended up getting mine at Target. But I'm just going to read you what it says. It says, it says Take your skin to paradise with the L'Oreal Skin Paradise water-based tinted moisturizer featuring lightweight natural coverage plus 24-hour hydration for a fresh glowing comp complexion. This unique formula offers a 70% water infused blend with aloe vera and witch hazel. It is suitable for sensitive skin, oil-free, and won't clog pores. And it comes in, it only comes in nine shades though. And it retails at Sephora, I mean at Ulta for $16.99. I don't remember how much I paid for it at Target. Probably about the same though. So anyways, let's just get started. I already moisturized my face with CeraVe and it's been a few so it's all soaked in. And oh, I was going to tell you, we are going to do, we're going to test out these products but we're also going to try and do a minimal look. Well, it's not really a minimal look we're going for. I want to use minimal products because my, my daughter is becoming a truck driver. Her husband is a truck driver and she drove a school bus for years and she just quit her job because her oldest child graduated high school. So um, now she can go on the road. She doesn't need to be there to do homeschool because she homeschooled her all the time. I don't think that Lexi ever went to regular school. If she did, it was just for a minute. Anyway, now she's able to leave. And so she is going to become a truck driver and they're going to be a team, her and her husband. So they have a plan. It's like so many years and they make this amount of money when they have it all figured out. Anyway, she asked me for, um, she doesn't want to give up makeup completely, but she is going to be in a truck. So this is what we're doing. We're going to try and figure out what would be best and the easiest way for her to continue to have wear makeup, but wear only have to take a little bit with her. And you know me. My idea of minimal is not really that minimal. And she could probably get away without some of this stuff, like like the, the powder. She probably doesn't need a powder. She's not as old as I am, but I have to powder everything. I'm going to powder it too. But she could get away with that. And then we're going to use our bronzer. And as you know, we're just going to bronze and highlight. And then we're going to use these as our eyeshadows. I do have to use concealer. And I think she needs concealer too. I think she's got dark circles, so she needs concealer too. And then for the brows, we're going to use a pencil. And then I've got my gel because that's what I would use, but she doesn't probably have to use gel. And then for our liner, we're going to use our pencil liner. So hopefully that's, I'm sure I could get all of this in just a tiny little pouch. Let's see what it looks like. This is what... This is how much I would take. And then a sponge. And actually I would have to have a brush too, huh? Well, she'll have to figure that out. But I'll set her up with some good stuff. And she only needs one of these because I'm going to have two in this trial. Plus I have a compact of this. I don't like the compact as well. This is the Bye Bye Pores. But... I would definitely use it if I was driving a truck or something. So anyways, let's get started. Let's see if this is even any good, right? Okay, I'm going to start with the lighter color and just see how that looks. Because this is medium. See, it doesn't look light on here. So this is medium two. 
Yeah, I don't think I'm going to need the medium three. Look how dark that is. That's probably going to be plenty dark enough. Anyways, I'm going to start by just... Ooh, I definitely don't need the darker one. Huh. And since this is a moisturizer, I'm hoping that it gets, you know, as it spreads out, it gets lighter. Anyways, let's grab a brush and get this war paint spread out. Yeah, see, it's already getting a little bit lighter. And as I get down closer to my neck, it probably matches. I think I need a little more over here. They have lighter colors, too. Like I said, these are the medium. They have lighter colors, and they have a few deeper colors, too. I think they have three in all... Did I say there was nine? Yeah, there's three lights, three dark, or three mediums, and three darks. Deeps. That's what they call it, deep. I like it. Just got to blend it. But I'm going to go over it with a sponge. Grab the rest of it off my hand. Just make sure we get it spread out really good. It's kind of sheerer than I thought because it was Casey Holmes who I saw talking about it. And she said she really liked it. And she is a full coverage girl. So, not sure. Maybe I didn't get enough. But it's so dark, I'm afraid. <laughs> I don't, it's only makeup, right? We're going to go with a little bit more. I've got too much on that side, not enough over there. And then we're just going to go sponge. Spread it out. I like it, though. Got to make sure you get in here, especially when you're changing the color of your face like this. And then pull it down so it blends into your new fake tan. I like it. So far, I like it. And I'm definitely going to be taking back the dark one. Because just so you know, this looks a little bit light, don't you think? Compared to me. So know that if you're picking it out, that the, the color match on here is a little bit lighter than what it actually looks on. So, let's go with our concealer. We're going to use our Pat McGrath. So, we're going to go in with our Pat McGrath concealer. Because we know that's my favorite. And as far as I'm concerned, this is not something you give up. If you're still going to wear makeup, you need concealer. I hope my sound is better. I moved my mic. Instead of having it up here, it's down here. And we'll see if you guys tell me if you can hear it better or if it's horrible. All right, let's go in with our powder. I'm gonna start with the eyes, under the eyes. And then go down these lap lines, frown lines, whatever they are. I'm going to go up here a little bit. And then I'm going to grab my brush and spread this over the rest of my face. Let's see if we can keep some of this tan. And yet, blend it all in. See, I think she could have got away without the powder. Because she's young. And I'm not. I think it looks pretty good. It definitely matches pretty good. All right. Now we're going to go in with our Physician's Formula Bronzer. And this is in the color. 
Whoops. Forgot to throw that out. This is in the color Deep Bronzer. And I'm just going to use my regular e.l.f. brush that I use for pretty much everything. I need to clean it. And go in. See if I love this. Oh, I love the smell of the Physician's Formula for sure. Smells great. Well, I like it pretty good. I can't say I like it better than my Bobbi Brown. But I like it. Of these jowls. Grab this and do my nose. Under my lip. And then I do a little on top too. Because they're just not like they used to be. Then I'm going to grab this and just kind of blend it all together. Get rid of any excess that's floated around. Okay, so we have so far we have used the moisturizer, the powder, the concealer, and the bronzer. And that's it. Now we're going to do the highlight. Oh, I need the bronzer again. I forgot. We're going to do the bronzer on the eyes. So we're kind of going out of order because I'm just going to use the bronzer now. And I'm going to grab some on this fluffy brush and just put it in the crease and pull it up a little bit on the outer half. I'm trying to not be too precise and look in that mirror too much. I mean, I will have to when I do my liner, but I'm like thinking like, okay, if I was in a car, I wouldn't have this magnified mirror or a truck. I would just have like one of these compact mirrors or something. So I'm trying to look far away like I would be if I was in a car or a truck. so that I know if this is feasible for her. But I think it is. This is one of my favorite looks to do is these with just bronzer and highlight and liner and mascara. She's gonna need mascara because she doesn't have lashes on. If I were her, I would put lashes on because you can get away with out a lot if you wear lashes. And I can show her how to do it. So I think that's pretty good, pretty even. I think I would like a little bit more. It's a little lighter than I would like it to be, which is what happens when you use bronzer. You have to build it. All right, that's good enough. So now, now I can put the bronzer away. Take my dual fiber brush and just rid of any fallout. And I'm gonna go in with my mini dandelion highlight from Benefit. And I'm just gonna highlight my cheekbones. Highlight my nose and my cupid's bow. Down my nose a little. Then I'm going to grab this dual fiber brush again and blend that in. So see, it's not so crazy. Oh, and then I'm going to take it. I keep putting it away. And I'm going to use it for on my lid. Because it's just so incredibly pretty. And yet, easy. Just like that. And we're done. Well, actually, 
I was going to put eyeliner on because she doesn't have lashes. I don't think I really need it, but I'm just going to put a, a thin line and then blur it, which I know is not minimal. I mean, it is. I have a fuzzy now. I got a fuzzy from that brush, I think. These are my lashes. I didn't take them off yesterday, like I said I always do. And I normally do change them on Sundays. But I was being lazy. And they looked still looked pretty good, so I thought, oh, I don't need to change them yet. But I think I do. This one's lifting on the inside. But it'll do for this video, and then I will change them probably this afternoon. I don't know if you guys have noticed that I have not uploaded a Saturday video for the last two Saturdays. And it's not that I decided not to upload videos on Saturday. I just haven't had any internet. My internet has just been completely, not just slow. I have normally got slow internet, but it has been completely gone on the weekends. I mean, I can't do anything. And last week on when I uploaded my Tuesday video, I had to go to the library. And I don't know what to do. I don't have any other choices for internet. There is no broadband out here. And so it's like, I have to have satellite or nothing. So I have satellite. And I pay for the most you can get and the fastest. I don't know, this eyelash may not make it through this video. It definitely looks a lot worse than I thought it did. We'll just push it up so you can't see it. Anyway. I'm going to take this and try and pull up a little bit of a wing in the outer corner just to lift this eye a little bit because I've obviously forgotten how to do this. Yes, I definitely need to change these lashes, but it'll do right now. So I'm going to quickly do the other eye. Okay, now we're moving on. We're going to do our eyebrows, and I'm just going to use this. This is a Milani pencil. I think it's in the color top and it's got it's a micro pencil and it's got a spoolie on the end so you can just spool them up and draw them in this would not be my favorite one but as far as traveling it's it's compact and easy I prefer to use um, eyeshadow I think it makes a cleaner brow for me because my eyebrows freaking go every which way. There's bald spots in them and then the ones that are there, they start to curl, they start to go crazy. So I would definitely stick to eyeshadow for me, but if you're looking for something that's like more easy to travel with, Unless you can find a single that's um, your color, which, good luck with that. I mean, the pomades are good too, but I just prefer powder. I think it just goes on better, and then if you put a gel on top of it, it's just as good as a pomade. Okay, so there, that's that's with this pencil. So that's the brows. I'm gonna put some gel on them. And then we're gonna do our little trick. Jamie, you don't have to pay attention to this because this is not like minimalist. This is extra. So just put some gel on there. But if you just wanna do this and like you're gonna be sleeping in the truck or something and you want them brushed up, put this on. Grab your tinkle razor, leave the cap on, and press them up. Or anything. You don't have to use it. I just like this because it's the right 
shape and size you just press them up after you've brushed them up and it just helps them to stay better okay what do we have left lips all right we're going to test out our makeup revolution pout balm in the color candy Spearmint nope. gum. I can feel the tingle. It's kind of sticky, but it's pretty. The color's lighter than I thought it was, but I like it. And that's it. We're done. This is our minimalist look. Jamie, do you love it? This is what you need. This is all the stuff. I don't oh, and I guess if I was going to recommend a um if I was going to recommend a mascara, it would definitely be the Legendary Lash from Charlotte Tilbury. Even though I'm not using it right now because I have lashes on. I would recommend you put lashes on, but if you're not, if you're going to use your own lashes then you need a lash curler and this is by far the best way too expensive but by far the best so i never seem to have any problems with tinted moisturizers changing throughout the day so i'm gonna call this one done we're good i love it and i think the color is perfect actually now that i've got it all together so I'll be taking back the darker one and keeping the medium O2 is the one I'm keeping. But just, you can see it's kind of dark. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Oh, I'm giving it a thumbs up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for watching my videos. And I'll see you in my next video. Mwah!